All right then, you mad lads and scallywags. Welcome to An Idiot Plays Blood Bowl 3. Now, I'm a player who plays exclusively halfling teams, mainly because they just make sense in my dumb brain, right? You've got little short people that run around and do nonsense, and you've got tree men that beat people up, and it's all good. And it just, it's logical. It's, it's just a wonderful team to play with. However, in Blood Bowl 3, there, are, there is nary a stunty team to see, let alone a halfling team. So, I've got to play normal teams, which is no fun. But that's okay. As a protest, I'm going to reach Grandmasters using non-halfling teams to show the bosses what's what, he says. So I've cheesed my way into silver because no one wants to watch a bronze player play. So, starting at silver, I'm going to make our grand descent to Grandmasters. And when I get to Grandmasters, I mean, the company that makes this game, whatever the name is, will have no other option but to make halflings in my honor. He says, with no degree of certainty. So let's have a quick look at the team, because if you've watched my Blood Bowl 2 gameplay, which by the by, I stopped playing Blood Bowl 2 mainly because I got bored up against playing AI. It Essentially, if you watch the previous episodes, it's the same game happening over and over again. It's just throw a hobbit, win. But don't worry, because we've got a hobbit here. We've got Blurdo Snaggins. Can't call him by his real name, otherwise, you know, um, on an online setting, it might get me told off and banned or something. So I don't know how the policy works, because I didn't bother reading it. There we've got Bloodus Snaggins, playing as a halfling hopeful. He's going to be our main boy if we need to get some uh, one-turn touchdowns. We've got Scoring Z at the Ogre, big beefy lad he is. We've got Big Dave, Titan Tim, Giant Steve, and Klaus Hull, Jack, representing the boys in the hometown, showing, the bo showing all the other teams how to throw down a face down. We've also got the Might, East Yorkshire, South Yorkshire, West Yorkshire, and North Yorkshire coming together to form that powerful line to stop people from beating us up. And then Chad Bradley, the the um, the heartthrob of the team, the one that gives all the girls whiplash as it goes down and scores touchdowns. You'll notice I've got no catcher here, mainly because I, but having a hook. So the rule is for this team to protest the where the halfling team is that what our name is. I always need to have at least one halfling in the team, preferably be free. But that's what we're going to spend our next money on. We're going to have, have always maximum halflings when we've got the money. But I try to get maximum halflings. But realistically, a human team ain't going to work with three halflings in the opening game. So, fingers crossed. Next game, we win a million pounds. And then we get to buy all the halflings. And then we get to at least vicariously experience a halfling team in this uh, situation. So, enough rambling. We're just going to play a game. And we're just going to see how we go. So, I'll see you in the game. All right, boys and girls, here we are. First game of the Where's the Halfling team. Got a Kamorka. Orc team, we've got loads of fan factor. So I assume that means... What's your starting team? Oh, up against the Chinese. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Thankfully, though, it seems like they've got too much... Well, we'll even get to have a bloody look. Oh, I've got loads of money to spend, actually. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all, because that means they've got loads of extra stuff. Now, the question is, do we go for inducements in the way of bribe? Well, we're not going to foul anyone. Uh, I don't know, like, what you've got. Oh, that's my team. Hold on. Uh, so they've got guard on a blitzer. Got two guards on a blitzer, actually. But double goblins. I don't think we'll need extra apothecaries or anything like that. I'm going to assume that we're not going to get killed too bad because we're not halflings. We've got nine armor. We should be fine. So what if we just get an extra star player? Someone who can really throw the ball somewhere. Do you have sure hands? Yes, you do. So just in case our thrower goes down. So we've got an apothecary to replace someone. And we also have another player to replace someone. And he's also got like three strength and stuff. So we should be... Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get a star player. Why not? We'll throw down an extra lad in just because we can. Now, I hate winning the coin toss, believe it or not. So I never know what to go for. Uh, we don't win. Thank thank goodness for that. So again, I never know what to actually go for. Right, so we're up against the Orcs with lots of punching power. They've only got one big gun blocker by the looks of things. They've gone mostly blitzers with guy. Uh, what, what have you got, actually? You have got passing ability. Right, so actually the Orcs might. You don't have any catch, do you? I hope not. Otherwise, I'll 
ruin my day. Oh, oh, right, the thrower. Right, so they've got potential. Catch potential. So let us... Oh, do we put our blitz on the front lines? And then if we beat people up, oh, that will make him commit more to the front lines. And then we can... Yeah, because if he's got lots of regular orc people, we can... I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't know. Because I don't... <laughs> I don't play teams that aren't hobbits. I don't understand this whole lofty game. However, there is rain, so that should stop people picking up the ball and stuff and throwing it around in theory. Let's just play nice and flat and see what happens, eh? The halfling round the backside, nice and even, so if we need to move people around, we'll try and punch them. I know punching orcs isn't a good idea, but they've only got one big unblocker. So unless they commit to putting the blockers on the sides, then I don't know what. Right, well, we'll all save this formation. Um, flat. Like some celebrities in a magazine that the people read because that's what people read. It's all about the gossip in it. Go on, pull your blitzes there. Yes. So we've got a big boy and you do not have a big boy so there that might benefit us you've also only got two rerolls and no apothecary but plenty of spare players but we have got a spare barrack far blast just in case we lose our thrower that's my main thing that's my main concern and yeah, he's putting his lineman on the sides. That's what I expected. Oh, right, okay, so he's going to punch, punch, work his way through the middle. Fingers crossed, though, our block should be able to block their blocks. He says, with no degree of confidence. That's fine. I should really call this um, series A Drunken Idiot Plays Blood Bowl because I only re ever really play this game when I'm drinking. It's probably not the way forward. Right, get the half into kick, because it's tradition. Start the ball, throw it down. Time out. So we lose a turn. Nice. That might benefit us. They're also playing quite flat as well, but their left flank is a bit exposed. That's something. Kloss hold Jack. Hold the line. Ah, oh, he's not holding the line, is he? Not stunned there. He's got a guide. Ah, oh, they're just knocking us everywhere, aren't they? Was this a good idea? Maybe not. We're still alive. Gosh darn it, we're still alive. Go on, Scoinzy. Show him off. Oh no, he's going to go through the middle. Well, round the flanks and then through the middle. He's following up as well. Which is not great for us, but... Hopefully, if this thrower fails to pick up the ball because it's raining, we could then just ignore everything and just go straight for him. There we go, yes. Good old what's-your-name. Can't even click here at the moment. Oh, go on. All the lines going, Zinc. Yeah, the lines held. No one's been stunned. No one's been injured. We'll take that. We'll take that to the bank. Yeah, oh, yes, please. Engaging close combat. Oh, you've also got... Oh, yes, this dude must have been playing a fair few games. Oh, right, okay. The one time he only gets a berth down is when he blitz with his blitzer. Fine. Be like that. They're going to engage in some argy-bargy. Now, I suppose these lines are met. These lines are met. And these, if we blitz someone over, we can meet these lines as well. So, in theory... Oh, I don't know. The old halfling. Be gentle. Go on, fail to pick up the ball. I dare you. Ah, boo. Stale boo. The stalest of boos. He's going to come over here. And a potential. A little bit of potential here. Right, so we... Let's pick everyone up. I want to do that again. Go on, stand up. Can I stand you up? 
Stone activation. Can I just straight up just not? There we go. Problem is with this game is that the double clicking is a bit of a pain in the backside. Now, hmm. Stand you up. Blitz you, move you over there. Put pressure on the ball. Or do I go over here and do a standard 2-2 two, two blocks and then try and dodge out the way, stand you up for double pressure on either side. Maybe move the Hobbit around just to make sure that this is a 2 plus thing. Huh. I don't really know. Or do I move the Hobbit over here? The two plus all, all, all way around. And then blitz up. Right, okay, yep, yeah, that's the plan. Please dodge. Oh, come on. Oh, the first dice roll. Oh, and you've been injured as well. Damn you, Blurder Snaggins. Oh, well, we're not going to use the puff to carry on you, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry. That is not what we wanted as our opening play. Damn it, man. You've got dodge on a free plus, free plus dodge, and you also have the dodge skill. That's not what we wanted at all. That's the worst opening humanly possible. Because now we don't even have our um, one turn touchdown with the throwing of a hobbit. Oh, that's so frustrating. So frustrating. That's okay. Maybe what we've done is confused him. We've thought, okay, oh, well, you know what, maybe he's thinking, oh, well, you had a plan. No, you don't have a plan. Maybe that will lull him. Maybe that will lull him into a false sense of security. He has lost one turn. Hmm? Maybe. We'll see. All right. Oh, you're, you're surfing people. Okay. Interesting. Not sure what the benefit of that surf is, but we'll take it. As long as my ogre boy in the middle is fine, because I want him to punch things. Oh, you've stunned him. That's no good. But he's, he's around the back lines now. Potential for shenanigans. There we go. Standing firm. Oh, I'm not feeling confident about this because they've got a really easy way to go through here. In fact, they could actually just ignore this and just walk straight through and get a fairly decent cage in them already, actually. Oh, they're going to get in the way of him. The blitz as well. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, why does he always get a buff down with his blitz set? That's no fun. That's no fun at all. Right. Okay. To walk straight down. Oh, he's even going to rush. And then even going for the single blocks here. Will really he follow? He will follow. Make sure I do this marks over yonder. Oh, but no. We'll use a reroll there. No, buff down, that's fine. That's fine for me. Right, what on earth do we do then? Pick people up. That seems to be the sensible thing. Now, do I go into you for two? Pick you up. Blitz into you. Move to at least touching the ball carrier. I don't know. But then again, if I move here, bash you around, blitz you and swim, in theory, move you here, that gives me two dice on you and the two dice on you, potentially to get in the way of the ball carrier. 
Right, first and foremost, pick people up. It's risky to pick dude on the sidelines up. But going into him there, you only move him that way. So, unless anyone does any, any sort of shenanigans, we'll be fine. Alright, so punch into you. Yes. Follow. Slap. Blitz into you. Knock you down. Follow. Oh, no, I picked you up. Oh, no, that's a massive... Piss take. Right, okay, so I guess our only plan here then is to... Get in touch with the ball carrier. Just so he's got to do something. Want to eke out those re-rolls. And then because he's not a main concern, what if we try and... Do that? That'd be an inconvenience. Let's do it. We'll waste the re-roll. Yes. There we go. That's something at the very least. Can't get any decent... Have you got... Why, it... why, is... why have I only got... Why is that two up? Oh, because you've got guard right. Okay, fair enough. Because you're a leveled up team and sod me, right? Right, so we've got plenty of opportunity for them to make a mistake. That's what I'm hoping on. See, there's halflings. You just beat people up with trees and just do some nonsense. Wiggle around the tackle zones and get surround. But oh no, we've got no dodge. We've got no stunty. But nine armor, though. That's why the only, the only person so far that's been beating up is a hobbit so far. Halfling. There are not hobbits in this. I think. I'm going to punch with the blitzer. That means that the regular orc lineman's doing a thing. We're leaving to be knocked out. Knockouts are fine, potentially. The injuries are made. Oh, go on. Go on. Sod yourself. Ah, huh? okay. It's only a move. It's only a move. It's only a shimmy and a shake. Only one Revo left, though. Ooh. Got two boys down here. Could mark my ogre, definitely. Might have blitzed as well. Blitz was now not stunned anymore. Which is pretty cool. He will mark him with the... Oh, no, he's not. He's going to move over here with a rush. And he's definitely got lots of punching power on the left-hand side. Got a buff down, but he's got a block. So they're fine. Double one on the armor value. No problem. He's got another punch there. Oh, double down. Come on. Sod yourself. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, you poor soul. You poor soul. Right. Okay. This is where we make half the magic happen. Right. So you've not even bothered to capitalize on this boy. Right. We've got a two block on you. And I've got the blitz. I've got giant Steve to show him the way. That's quite a safe block. So let's move everyone into the correct positions. Let's bring you forth over here. Now, you're a big unblocker. Do I leave the ogre here to manage you? Or does keep the center space open for us? But then again, do I move you... Do I move you here just to cover these guys? Or do I move you there so we've got two dice block on there? We'd be hopeful. Knock this guy over. Tend to get the ball on this side. I've already moved you, so you're not going to do anything. Move you over there. Potentially. Got a second block as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run on good faith. Run on good faith, he says. It's going to you go there. Cover that side of things. We punch this way. Double down, that's fine. I'll take it. Goes over there. That's not good, but we can 
blitz into here. Knock you over. Stay. Now, where is my pickup good guy? Oh, did he get knocked out? He got knocked out. Right, sir. We're just running on a on a dream here. Pick it up, I dare you. I waste a reroll for this. That's fine. We've got the ball. I then move you. I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? Because you can punch him, but. Let's move you there. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Move you here. Because this area is flood tackle zones. Actually, I don't know. I suppose here is fine. Here is fine. Go on, dodge out the way. Nice one. And all this nonsense. Let's see if we can dodge out the way here. And just maybe cover some of these guys. It's the blitz I'm mainly, I'm mainly concerned with. Nah, we're not going to waste it. We're not going to waste it. Well, now we've opened this guy up to be pushed off here. At least it strikes those two guys for a little while. Got an opening, man. Got an opening. I believe. That's all I believe in. Let's use our maneuverability to get out of the way. I'm glad that a blitz is holding on to it. He's got the block, so it'll be harder to take the ball off him. As far as I'm aware, no one's got strip ball. They've got lots of sure hands. Which is interesting for an orc team. Like I say, you've got passability. Which is... I don't know why you have that, but you don't have throw or show hands. You'd normally get that afterwards. And you're only level one, so I don't know what they deal with with that. Bearing in mind that I'm still learning the rules, well, the current rules. I know it's been out for about four years, but leave me alone. A grown man with a full-time job. And I can only do so much with what I have available to me. Got a good line here. Worried about what this guy's going to do. He's going to come over this side. Do we blitz with the ball carrier? I know it's risky, but he's got block. Shove him that way. Run this way. Ah, uh, uh, no. Do we just run backwards and just stall it? I don't know. You've got no remills. I've got one left. The blitz into him. That's not good. That's less than ideal. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, it doesn't catch it. It's right in the right. It's a proper scrum now. This is as scrummy as it gets. And it, yeah, he's gonna blast him off into. Oh no! Oh never mind. Ah, you tried to surf him. You needed to move that boy there. Stop that from happening. Now I've got a free boy to move around. Ah, did you even left my ogre free? Amazing. Right, okay. So we pick people up. Say things first. I cover you, Mr. Blitzer. Move the ogre into here for two dice potential knockdown so I could then get two dice on you move you over there blitz two dice on you just to get more humans around there go on be a lad there we go no burn head on that guy slam you down thank you very much punch you about hey uh nice then we go for... Oh, is that only one? Oh, because you've got bloody guard, you ridiculous sod. Oh, well, if I blitz you... Potentially move you out of the way. Follow up. Follow up with this dude with a two-dice block. That's my thinkings. 
Yeah, follow-up is fine for me. Move you away from the ball. Follow-up with you. Knock you down, but follow you near the ogre. It's too good. I mean, we're knackered over here. Absolute shit show, but... As long as we prevent them from scoring, that's the main thing. Because then we can score out on our half, and then it'll be all, all cush. But no, no one else to move, have I? No. Cool, right, we've got lots of contesting on the ball here. That's good. I like that. Knocked down on North Yorkshire. Not the best of Yorkshires, if I'm completely honest. It does all right. I mean, it's part, part of God's county, so we'll forgive it. South Yorkshire, again, not the best, but we forgive it for existing. Looking after the flanks, that's what it is. South Yorkshire, famous for its mighty cities like Scunthorpe. Well beloved by the nation state of the UK. But they've got two humans on the ball at the moment now, though. Still not great for them. As the rain is already a minus one to pick up. Two humans near it. Ah, well, leave yet. I'm trusting these guys will get back up. He says. <laughs> I believe. That's what I I think. To be honest, the, problem, the problem with playing Blood Bowl when you're drunk is that you never really sober enough to learn from your mistakes. You kind of just fumble around, you see. Right. These two might have to just stick around. Oh, but that guy will have to stick around. He can just move move away. But, like, that guy will stick around, I assume. If I was him, though, I wouldn't bother. I would just bring them both over just to have a big old scrum in the middle because that's where the orcs really benefit. I'm going to bring one boy over. I'm going to blitz him, though. You are going to blitz him. And, oh, yeah, okay. You've got both down for block. You've got a stun on there as well. So that knocks him out for a turn. Only a move, though. Gonna follow. Which actually, if I blitz into that, that's at least a two dice. You've Big Dave's got block as well. If I knock you over. Oh, don't foul. You sod. That's just bad manners, that is. Bad manners indeed. I pick you up. South Yorkshire. You can hold the line there. I punch with you. I then... Blitz with you for two dice. Knock you over. In theory. And then move you up. For then two dice on him. We're just stalling here. That's all we're doing. We're not planning to score. We're just doing God's work. I move you forward. Fine by me. Blitz into you. Push. That's not what I wanted at all. Now, huh. Do I follow? Will mean two people against him? Yeah, go on then. So I can then punch with Giant Steve. Knocks you that way. Knocks. Hmm. That blitzer there. That blitzer there. Don't follow. Because then no one can get you. We then... Right, we have a move you here to help the ogre. Mind you, that's a big, big unblocker, sir. That'd be two dice on 
What's your name? Cross Hole Jack. And then that'll then be... Oh, but mind you, though. Three, four, five. That will then only be one dice on him. So I might do that, actually. The understanding that I dodge out the way of North Yorkshire. In theory. So then bring him over here. Just to be a nuisance. I've got one more reroll. Let's do it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Filthy. No one's getting this ball anytime soon. Let's see you touch down in two turns, Mr. Gorkamorka. That's not your name. It's your team name, but... I can't pronounce your actual name. I mean, Raphael Meng. Oh, what's that? That just sounds right to me, to be honest. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, he's going to push the ball. That's bloody hell. I mean, that doesn't help him. We've still got to sit. We've, had, we've got more boys on the ball now than before. Unless he plans to push the ball all the way over here so he can then, like, get these guys to pick it up. Which, to be fair, it's not a terrible idea. If you knock this guy into there, and if the, this blitzer doesn't catch it, which, if you follow up, it'll be on a 5+. plus. Six plus if you've never got the alt lineman around it. And you know, how close are we to the end? Oh, no, never mind. Got no rerolls. I've got a block there. Bang. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Two turns to touchdown. Boof you. Potentially boof you. Pick it up. Oh, yeah. Blitz you. Pick it up. Run the flip this way and hope for the best. There's probably a more... More better. Just a better strategy to do this in. However, as you can probably tell, I am quite inebriated. And that's not how we do things here on this channel. Punch you. Send you that way. We stare. We then punch you. All right, so I don't want to dodge. So I need to move. I need to move this guy out the way. So I've got a clear line of movement. Got one reroll. Ah, we could do it. Got block. It's a move. It's fine. We'll follow to leave us a nice open space. We then blitz with you. Hold on. I don't quite understand how. Validate. Punch into you. Oh, so one dice. Oh, I, don't, I, was, I wasn't paying attention. It's fine. You go there. We stay. We then pick up the ball. Please pick up the ball. Potential. There's potentially... Well, I mean, there's, there's not really. Probably not going to get there. But we believe. What have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. No. You've got no chance of picking up. You've got no chance of scoring whatsoever. No. We, we don't have any chance of scoring whatsoever. However, we've at least got the ball so far away they can't possibly score now. Which is something. You can stay there. Oh, then what damage can you do to us? Probably a lot, actually, to be fair. That was probably not the wisest thing to do. Because now if he knows that he can't possibly score this turn, if he surrounds South Yorkshire, knocks him down, fouls him. Oh, he's going to knock him straight in the middle of all the boys as well. Oh, no, he can't. Oh, because you didn't blitz with him. Okay, fair enough. Survive, South Yorkshire. Survive. As Giant Steve does his business. Might even attempt a, a, a pass. Just for the superstar points. Could have been down on Auckland, but he's got plenty of other boys. No, we shooting bricks there. Ah, he knocked us down. Poor old Giant Steve. He tried his best. Oh, we had the potential, though. 
Oh, stop knocking my boys down. That's three knocks down. Oh, the problem is that when you're playing an online game and you need the loo, you can't pause the game, can you? Ah. Uh. What a terrible time to have loins. Yeah, you can't beat Kloss Hole Jack. He's his own man. In fact, yeah, I'm going to run to the loo. Assuming that I'm not going to do anything much on my turn, so I'll be right back. All right, then, what did I miss? Did anyone else die? No, no one else died, so nothing important happened while I was gone. So, can we get any injuries here? Orc lineman, big gun blocker. They've both got 10 armor. Equal chances of beating them up. Got two dice on both. So may as well go for one. Never mind, you stupid. Fine. Okay, all right. Well, in that case, then. If I move you here... And then blitz for you just to get a regular alt lineman down. Sure, why not? Last go on this round. And we punch you. Please kill him. Nah, never mind. All right, to you then. That's our side things done. Do any of our players get back up? Two of them do. Nice. So we're only one player down, technically. Because we've got that dwarf man with the sure hands. Now, I actually have no idea what you do, dwarf man. I can't even check. Let me look. Ah, oh, I hate Blood Bowl 3. God, the UI is bloody terrible. Despise. Also, why are we all blue and red? I don't like this. There we go. You're red, but we are our actual good colours. I put yellow on it. Well, gold on it because we're going for gold at the moment. Is that creative and funny? Why have you put all your boys on the front lines, though? If you're defending, then you're, give, you're basically giving me three blocks here. Interessant. I mean, fine, okay. So I've got two, in fact, actually, no. Do I have, yeah, I've got both players with short, with short hands here, so I can pull them on either side and then just decide which way to blitz through. Yeah, I can just pull all the blitz on one side, can't I? If I put Ogre in the middle, I put Barrack Far Blast on the... You know what? I'm, I'm feeling we push the left-hand side, actually. So if I put all my blitzers over on this side and I do it like this. So I boof you that way. Potentially getting a kill. Move this way. And it's all cush and good. I'm lacking play. Hmm. Yeah, I am one player down. Do I do that? Ah, sod it. Why not? In fact, I only need a lineman there. Blitz you. Have a lineman. Or have a blitzer there just for the good times and the fun times. Completely ignore the right flank. Get a blocker here as well for a potential blitz. Get Blummin Barak Far Blast over here. Move you on the right hand flank. I'm hoping this is my plan. The ball lands in this half. That's my strategy. Is just believing. Because that's how hobbits play. Go on, kick the ball, you rascal. Show me the business. Yep, 
He can't block us all, can he? Surely. That's how it works. Bugger. That went in the wrong way. Oh, never mind. Oh, we've got to pick a person. So it might make sense to pick a blocker. You know what? Yes, we're going to. Now, I believe in the power of... Right. So hear me out, right? Makes sense to put them on Big Dave and Titan Tim. But East Yorkshire, where I'm from, going to give it to East Yorkshire, gosh darn it. Because we believe. <laughs> Terrible idea, Miss Landshark. But these are, some would say, the finest Blood Bowl games this side of East Yorkshire. Right. Boof you. See how far you get. Ah. Uh, If I had one more square to get there, play a different story. You know what we do? We do what we do because we do. Right, I could get you there with no dramas. So East Yorkshire, you go there. Oh, you, you've been not. Why have you been knocked down? That's no good. I wait. That's fine. We'll live. We'll survive. Bring Big Dave over. Right, no one's going to be wandering over. One, two, three, four, five. And then you. One, two, three. No, no one's going to get it there anytime soon, sir. Would it make sense then to just put more people on the front lines here? I think it does. I think it do be like that. We'll cover you with Barak Far Blaster, which is a remarkably fast dwarf. And then two going for it. I think we do. Now nah, I'm not going to waste a reroll for that. That's fine. Damn it, Chad Bradley, you've done nothing in this game. And you've even been stunned. You've even stunned yourself. Let's just hope. Hoping against Herp yet. That by pure sheer ineptitude, we win. Just a 1 0. That's all I need. Just a 1 0. That's all I need. Yeah. We're going to do Gorkamorka. You're all flummoxed now. Now he's going to knock the players down. That's what we're going to do. Stop knocking at my players, you sod. We've got nine armor. That's like two more armor than halflings. Surely, be, uh, surely should be surviving a lot more. Uh, he, he, can't, he doesn't quite have the movement to get over here. So I could just ignore everything and run this way and hope that no one kills me or anyone else. Ooh. Will it work? Will it not? Yeah. We'll see. Now, for those of you who have survived up until this um, part of the video, um, I imagine most of you probably will have uh, watched the first 30 seconds of Oh, no, no, thank you for me. But um, for those of you who have not watched the previous Blood Bowl 2 videos, um, I am in a IRL league where I play Halflings. I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I can't quite remember because I'm, because I'm quite drunk. But um, I always think that the real fun of Blood Bowl, in my honest, humble opinion, is thinking of the least optimal way of doing something and then somehow pulling it off. That's what that's I mean to be honest, that, that's the that's the joy I get from um like video games in general, or just games in general. Like whenever I play Dark Souls, I think I mentioned it in a Dawn of War game a little while ago. And whenever I play things like Dark Souls and stuff, I always play no armor, broken sword. Just to see if I can. Because that's just really good fun. This isn't good. This is a lack of good. Oh, but it's given us 
a little window this way. Oh, no, it's got blitzers. Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Come on! Fail! Yes! Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Fantabulous. And we've even injured him. Oh, we've got a little window for East Yorkshire to go through. What a beautiful sight it is. All the way over here. Oh, no, we can't. No. Right, what's a sensible way to do this? Pick the ogre up. That's what we do there. I've got no potential for any... Oh, no, we've got, we've got two blocks there. Somehow. Oh, because we've marked you and I've got you. Right, so knock you that way. But do we blitz you? No, we don't, because then... Huh. No, we'll, we'll, we'll block with you. We'll block with you. Stay put. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Oh, well, you're covered. You're covered. You're covered. All this nonsense going on over here. Would it make sense just to move in the middle and just hope for the best? Well, we'll get blitzed by you if you're there. You can blitz him if you're... Mm. Get one dice here. Move him that way. Run this way. I've got one boy here. Potential for dodge this way. No. One dice to push you away. Two dice on you. And that might do... Oh, no, I could move you... If I do knock you over... Hmm. Ah, so that we'll go for it. I believe. Yes. We stay. Punch! We then move you here. Right, hear me out. Here's my thinkings, right? We punch with you. It's a move that's not what I wanted. But whatever. We then... Blitz with you. Into you. Validate that. Knock you down. Fantastic. We stay. Just follow my logic here, boys and girls. Follow my logic. We then run... Here. No, we run here. It's not perfect at all. Got a million orcs here doing nonsense, but it's the best we've got available to us at this given time. We then punch with the dwarf. We re roll that because I don't want that to happen. There we go. And we follow. Take that, you orky bot, you orky nonsense person. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll make it... That means that's going to go for going for it. You're already covered. Actually, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so now my weapons... If my math is correct... We're cush. As the kids say. Maybe. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But isn't that half the fun of Blood Bowl, right? I mean, if I made no mistakes, if he made no mistakes, it's just watching match. Oh, go on. Oh, come on. Oh. That's all right, though. He's, he's used his last reroll. Oh, imagine that. Double scores twice in a row. Enough to make any man 
lose his faith in humanity. Got the orc on him, though. He's got the orc on him. And that's a big one as well. Be hard to shift him. Picking the boys up. He's got no real... Solid way of getting to me. Could try and dodge. I mean, this one won't be able to dodge because... I mean, he can dodge this way, but... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, blitz with you. Get you out the way. And then move fuck this way. Hmm. Yes, we can do that. We can do it, Mr. Landshark. Go on, get him. I know what we can even. We could double down. So I've got blocks, so sod ya. You get. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ideal. But then when is ever anything ideal? We could put oh we could put a boy to block him. Hold on. Take him on there. Oh, sorry, I'm really sorry about this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we go up here instead? Be safer that way. I think so. I just put general roadblocks in the way. Yeah. That's what we do. That's what we do. We shove you out road. Be gone, foul beast. We then slam a mama Jim Jam on you. Thank you very much. Big punt. We then slap you... Like an orphan with a biscuit. And I think we leave you there. Oh! oh, 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 oh. My goodness. Give me now, caught me there. When I get to Grandmasters, we'll have to make a halfling team. We'll just have to. There's just the rules. Are there the rules self-imposed for me to... Is it Cyanide that makes this game? I don't know. Someone made this game, and they didn't make Halflings, and they should stop it. Although, Kokomoku, he's had these two orcs over here for quite some time. He could have moved them. He's not... The fool. Oh, dear, now it's got a whole boy to... Oh, right, okay, no, no, you're, you're sorting with him. Fine. Fine as wine. You could potentially blitz with... I want to read their names, but there's no names to read because I can't read Mandarin. Believe it or not. Oh, he's just going to cover him. He's just going to cover him. All right, okay. <coughs> I was going to move the boys forward. Right, okay. That does actually put us in a little bit of pressure there. Go on, forget to pick up your blitzer. Oh, he's going to blitz somewhere. That's no good. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Sword, yeah. Boom. Take that. Right, so he didn't even pick up your... So I've actually got opportunity to... It's a rush. With stupid. Hmm. Actually. One, two, three, four, five. Blitz into you. That's probably a lot more sensible. So I... Yes. No, we do that. We do that, Mr. Landshark. That's what we do because it's sensible. We knock you into there. We follow. 
Now, do we stall? Move here. Move you to cover this side. Potential to knock you down. That at least gives us a little bit of room. I think we do stall. Nope, I don't like stalling in Blood Bowl. Don't like it at all. However, it's a valid strategy. And I want to get to Grandmaster, so leave me alone. Yes, thank you. Blitz into you. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Fine. It's not ideal. Not ideal at all, actually. That better not come to bite me in the backside later on. It's risky. It's very, very risky. That guy can't get me. That guy can get me. The only one that can get me is potentially this guy. We've got to dodge in the rain. So for one more turn, what are the chances of him being able to score in four turns with an orc team? Very unlikely. Very unlikely indeed. Ah, there we go. Yep. You're stunned. Oh my goodness, I can... I'm so sorry. This makes me a bad human being. But I'm going to stall like a mother effer. Just because <laughs> I want the hobbits to be a thing. The only way to make the hobbits a thing is if I win Grandmasters. That's the way it works, boys and girls. That's the way it works. Move you over here. And then you can then punch that dude. Be gone. Thank you. Now, do I... Attempt to shenanigan over here. I do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to punch into you. We'll follow. Why not? Oh, blitzer here. Into a blitzer. Do I do it? Ah, I saw it. Why not? Why not? There we go. Take that. You massive wetter. Punch! The mighty Big Dave. And look at that. How many times have you seen an Orc team completely crumped by Yumi's? I'm really sad that we didn't get to see much halfling action here. Oh, he's brave. Right, I don't think we're prolonging suffering anymore. I would much rather... Yeah, let's just guarantee a touchdown. Well done. And who was that? Was Oh, that was East Yorkshire. The mighty East Yorkshire. Scoring a goal. Uh, there's a ball. Oh, because you've got a legal weapon. Right, okay. Um, on a roll, on a result of one, you may no longer argue and apply a minus one modifier when rolling brilliant coaching. Two to five players sent off. Six, a ten of it is caused. The player is putting the foul is not sent off. Now nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't want to potentially lose a brilliant coaching and give him one more re-roll to play with. All we've got to do is just hold the line. That's all we've got to do. So that is what we're going to do for three turns. That's all we're going to do. Can't be that hard. Cannot be that hard at all. I think the fact that it's raining has given us a really big opportunity here as well, because if he's got so many players with sure hands and stuff, then that kind of, neg well, it doesn't negate it, but it does stuff, I guess. I think, I don't know. Makes it better for us. Sort of. Come on then, Gorkamorka. Put your boots on the table. Show us what you've got in the last three turns. 
I know it says four turns, but that, that confused me as that always confused me as well. It's actually that turn is just them deploying. Hopefully it doesn't get a blitz. Hopefully my hubris doesn't come back to bite me. Alright, we'll kick it. Square in the middle. Because we've got no kick skill. We kick hike. Ah, oh, bugger. Well, it was going to get it anyway, I suppose. Does it catch it, though? Does not catch it. Even with his... Well, I suppose he doesn't have a catch skill, does he? It would require sure hands. Here's a punch. Slap down. God, it's just amazing having nine armor. I mean, yeah, okay, we've got lots of knockouts, but very few... Oh, ho, 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 ho! Oh, does this mean we'll get the potential to score again? Oh, I hope it does. I hope it does. Right, hold on. Hold on, right. We, we could... We could figure this out. We could figure this out. Right, sir. There's a ball there. We can get to... We can get to it. Let us... Right, so punch you... Move you out the way. If I make a space in the middle, potentially, I could then run Coloss Hole Jack right down over here. Yes! Titan Tim, take him on. Stay. Punch. We then punch the big un. He also falls over. We stay. We've now got options for the ball. It'll be a one dice. But, move him out the way. Pick up the ball unscathed. Right, let's first and foremost put lads on the prize, shall we? Go on, let's score one more touchdown. Let's believe in ourselves, eh? Right, you're there, you stay. And then, just simply pick up the ball. And he picks up the ball. Amazing. Coloss Hole Jack. Come on down. Chad Bradley, you can stay. You're, you're too precious. You're our ball picker-upper on a non-rainy day. Can we do it? You just gots to believe. That's what I believe anyway. Come on. Let me score again, you sod bender. Or whatever insult I'm going to come up with today. Amazing. Amazing. Hold on. This changes everything. Go on, please. Please, Nuffle. Oh, never mind. It's just a straight run. It's just a straight <laughs> Woo! My goodness, my gracious boys and girls. Oh. Does it not bring a smile to your eyes? Right, well. Got one more turn left. I mean, I'm quite confident the blitzes won't die here. Let's bring all our... Hmm... Yeah, let's bring all our regular boys back. I'm quite confident that Kloss, Hulljack, Titan Tim, Scoin Z, Big Dave, and Giant Steve can hold the lines. He's not... Actually, actually I don't know. No, no, he's, he's not got one touchdown potential. Hasn't got the movement for it. And even if he does get a touchdown, with some shenanigans of pushing people around, it'll be 2-1. So, so there. Well done, team. Well done, me. Chad Bradley, give us a kick. Show them how it's done. Oosh. Cheering fans. Perfect passing. Look, can, is there a way that I can actually check that stuff? Oh, I've got to check the key bindings later on, actually, because there is, um, whenever Nuffles Prayer comes on, 
change the way the game is played. I don't quite actually know how to check that. Because that would be ridiculous. Is there a way to check it? Camera tilt. Camera behaviour. Nah, I'll figure it out later. At the moment, I just want to bask. I want to bask in one's glory. Hard game, though. Really hard game. Humans, when they... I, from what I understand, again, I've, I've... Before this game, I played one human game with this team set up, just so I knew what I was on about. Um, and... Humans, from what I can gather, struggle a lot with very punchy teams. But thankfully, an orc team isn't significantly more punchier than a human team. He says. There we go. We've done it. We've played the feud. And big day with the MVP. He did stuff. Who got points and, and whatnot. So no one's leveling up at the moment. But that's fine. We don't need to level up. We've done things. And how much money have we got? We've got £75,000. So we can actually probably get another... Well, we can actually get another human lineman or a catcher. I don't know. Do we fancy playing the catching game? The catching sounds a bit naff to me. Uh, I quite like the idea of getting another... Mm, or... Oh, oh, we go for two more hobbits. I mean, I like the idea of two more hobbits. Do you like the idea of two more hobbits? I mean, personally, I think that's the way forward. Because hobbits are cool. And we don't have a halfling team yet, so let's do that. Commit to the halflings. There we go. All right, so an exciting um, journey. A protest, if you will. Uh, to get Halfling Team by getting to Grandmasters, but we'll do it. And this is just the first leg of our journey. Now, what I'll do in between games is that, because I play a Blood Bowl online just for fun without recording, because you know, I need to re relax every now and then. Uh, so, what I'll do is that maybe like every now and then, I'll play like a different team to get up in the ranks and stuff, but I will only ever record this team being played on the camera and stuff, so you'll never miss a beat. You'll never miss a thing going on. It'll all be all good. It'll be all... Whoop. It'll all be good stuff. Anyway, cheers for joining us. Uh, Man's been Miss Lanchak. Pleasure was always never chore. And I'll see you in a bit. Peace.